Good morning from a very wet, very miserable mid-winter day in New Zealand. Not so far from the airport. Hopefully flying off to sunnier climes. So during the recent trip back to England, I managed to get out a few times on the push bike and ride some of the local trails around the rivers. No bike ride is complete without a camera. Because I'm so obsessed with photography and I'm so obsessed with infrared photography at the moment, I dragged along the Fujifilm X-Pro2 with its 850 nanometer modified sensor. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't always too flash, so uh, some of the photographs came out a little bit muddy, but when the light was good, man, this thing absolutely screams contrast and I just love it to bits. On one of my trips, I rode past my local hometown rugby league club, the Castleford Tigers. It was in pretty decent light, so I thought, you know what, why not? My next little stop was at Ferry Bridge where I managed to get a couple of nice photographs and I quite like the composition of this photograph. I used the new motorway bridge to frame the more architecturally pleasing stone bridge. Now although I absolutely love the video footage coming out of the X-Pro2, the one thing I don't like about it is when you're hand holding it, it's so jittery, there's no stabilisation there whatsoever. The footage is all over the place and it's just it, it's just grinding my gears in a big way. So I've just rectified that by ordering a, a gimbal over the internet and that should be in the next day or two. And that will make video footage from this camera so much better. I cannot wait to try that out. Anyway, that's for a future episode. My next stop was at St Aidan's, which is an absolutely superb nature reserve. It's just a place where you can sort of ride around, sit, relax, close to town but far enough away from town. It's just a, a gorgeous place. I love the contrast in these photographs and it's not too far from my sister's place, so uh, quite easy to get to and well worth making the effort. Then it was back along the Air and Calder Navigation Canal towards Bullholm Lock, which made a few nice photographs looking back towards the old Iron Bridge. I was even lucky enough to be there when the lock gates opened and a narrow boat came sailing through. Good to see the old canal system in operation. I then rode back into Castleford itself, past one of my old favourite pubs, the Crimea Tavern, and that unfortunately is due for demolition anytime soon. So I took this photograph more for historical reasons more than anything, but I do like it. I love the contrast in it, I love the composition. One major highlight of any visit to Castleford is the new footbridge that crosses over the River Air. You get an absolutely fantastic view of the weir, the salmon runs, and the stricken barge that has been sat in the river for God knows how many years, decades. When I was a kid, it was there. I took a lot of photographs and a lot of footage of this bridge on quite a few visits during my stay. Some of the days, the light was better than others, but I think I've come away with some photographs that I'm quite pleased with, and plenty of video footage that I'm quite pleased with. Again, apart from the stabilization issue, which, uh, which will soon be rectified.
And then all too soon, my trip was over. It was back onto the plane, heading for New Zealand. I had a 14 hour layover in Hong Kong. I thought I'll get out of the airport, get into town, get some photographs, some nice solid street stuff, and uh, head back to New Zealand with a, with a good swag of photographs. Couldn't believe how quiet it was. I mean, the last time I went there, it was bustling, busy, 24 seven, noise, smell, sounds, everything. It was unbelievably quiet. And it's only when I got on the plane later on that I realized, eh, actually, it's Sunday. <laughs> everything was closed on Sunday. So that was a bit of a downer, but I did manage to get a few nice photographs anyway, despite the, uh, despite the lack of people knocking about. Once back in New Zealand, it was straight into work, photographing a, <laughs> photographing a storm that came across, some floods. Took a trip in a helicopter with the Prime Minister to assess the damage and uh, yeah, just absolutely enjoyed it. Unfortunately, my stay back at the paper didn't, la <laughs> didn't last too long. Uh, while I was away, the company had made the decision to get rid of the photographers and other editorial staff, which, uh, which came as a bit of a shock. So unfortunately, my time as a news photographer came to an abrupt end, <laughs> far sooner than I hoped for. Got to get a real job. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching as ever, thanks for your support, do the old thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that malarkey if you feel like it, if you don't, no stress, till next time, laters.